Okay, so we're starting with food because that's the quickest way to everyone's heart, right? But we are taking you outside today here on Idaho Today to showcase the brand new KTVB outdoor courtyard, a part of the courtyard. We have this incredible kitchen set, right? But what's the best way to kick off a luxurious grill? Well, here's the best way. It's Mark Anderson from the Grill Dads. Hot off the Drew Barrymore show too, everybody. We are so lucky to have you here in our studio, in our space, Mark, because I know you have been an incredibly busy grill dad. Lots of airplane time the last couple of weeks, but it's been yes. great. We did 24 hour marathon on QVC, did today's show a couple of days ago and tomorrow's Drew Barrymore. So right. it's been fun, but yes. I, kicking this kitchen off, I didn't know I was gonna be the first one. This is great. You are, you are. You are you are christening the uh, K2B grill, and what a better way to do this than with a delicious tri-tip, right? Yes, we're gonna do a tri-tip sandwich with caramelized onions and horseradish sauce. So come on over here, I'm gonna okay. show you. Uh, a tri-tip is three points, that's why it's called tri-tip, but I have one unseasoned here because I wanna show you that you have to visualize the steak before you cook it so you can slice okay. it properly at the end. Because it has grain going this way and grain okay. going this way, and you get tough tri-tip if you don't cut against the grain. So you'll see, you'll see a little bit more um, when we get to the one that we slice, but you wanna season heavily on this because okay. this is a giant, giant steak. Yes, it is. So we're doing what's called a reverse sear, which means we're gonna cook this on a very low temperature until it's 95% cooked, and then okay. we're gonna sear it. So now I've got one that I already did. So of course I can did. show you <laughs> now, see this is completely cooked, but it's missing that beautiful sear. Yes. And that crust is visual, it's beautiful, yeah. but it's also flavor and it gives you a uh, diversity of texture in the steak. I'm loving so this. So come over here. Okay. And then this really, this is just about sear. Okay. You don't want to cook it at this point, right? So we actually let this rest for a few minutes when it's done oh before we gosh. sear it. The smell. See, I mean, look oh. how, look how fast that goes, right? That's beautiful. Okay, so you're you're cooking from the inside out on this one, opposed to the heat starting an intense on the outside in, right? So you're doing, you said, kind of a little slow and low to cook from the inside out, and then you're topping it off. On yeah, the, you, the the bigger the piece of meat, the more important it is to cook it at two different temperatures. Got it. So okay. if you cooked it at high like this the whole time, yeah, you would end up with a gray ring and a raw middle, which we don't like. Ooh, We're looking no. for what we call coast to coast pink. Yes. Right. Yes. So. That's the grill dad saying, coast to coast. Coast to coast pink. All right, I'm gonna yes. set this one over here. Ooh, you can already see part oh, of that. Oh yeah, look at this right here. Okay, and you blew my mind too with having to visualize your cut of meat before you even approach cooking it. That's a new concept for me. It's easier to see the muscle fibers before you season it and cook it. Absolutely. So, yes. um, all right, I'm gonna grab these okay. and bring these down with us. Please these are do. onions that I caramelized in the grill for a couple hours. Oh. So Get a shot of you those. want to know what's crazy? What? That's four onions. That's four, four onions? Four whole onions that we slow cooked. And we I always say we cook them until they quit, which means they're just, the, the cell walls just give out, right? So. Did you fit all four raw onions in this little tiny No, pan? no, I did it okay. in a bigger pan. And I was then, like, how did you do that? I can only fit so much in my car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you. All right, so now let me show you guys okay. this is the secret sauce, literally. So we're gonna make the horseradish sauce. Equal parts mayo and sour cream. Love. Uh, just a little bit of vinegar. And then a little bit of buttermilk. And you use the buttermilk to get whatever consistency you like. And then, are you okay with a little bit of heat? Hey, you know what? Bring it if that's uh, if that's what you wanna do this morning. So that's horseradish there. And then a little bit of salt. And you can just Put however much horseradish your heart is telling you to put in. Okay. So if you wanted a, li a little bit so of kick. to taste. To taste, definitely. Well, yeah, it depends on how much you want your nose to run. Exactly. While you're eating your steak. <laughs> but once once this gets into the sandwich, it's gonna be pretty mild, oh, right? Love. So that's it. That's, that's true, because you're gonna be putting this on uh, two de deliciously grilled pieces of bread, and that's gonna kind of help cut some of the yep, heat. Yep, exactly. Okay. okay. All right, now we have our seared tri-tip, right? Oh, beautiful. Look and by this. the way, if you take a tri-tip like this, you can serve six, seven people. Absolutely. If you make sandwiches, you can serve 20. Okay. So it really extends what you're doing. All right, so now you can actually see the, the right yes. where that separation is. Yep. So now, we separate the two pieces. Ooh. Hopefully we get coast to coast pink. Nice. And then 
The muscle fibers are running this way, so you want to cut perpendicular to the muscle fibers. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time listening to you because my uh, my olfactory is overwhelmed with the incredible <laughs> scent of this deliciously barbecued dry tip. Wow, that looks so good. And when you're making a sandwich, yes, you want it to be sliced as thin as you can. Okay, so thin cuts on the sandwich. Yep. All right. And is that to make it a little easier for you to wrap your mouth around the delicious chunk of of bread with all the incredible toppings and in the, the meat? Yeah, but it's an easier it it's we, it's an easier bite through. We say easier bite through for the that's, sandwich, that's which is much important. That's a more eloquent way of putting what I was trying to say. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so now let's go. By the way, yes. Always season your steak before you cook it. Okay. And when you're done. And That's the difference between home and restaurants. They season before, during, and after. Okay. Most people at home just do before. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go and grab these tongs, sir. Um, Mark, really quick, is there a specific salt that you yes. use? I use- The salt's not created equal. Kosher salt. Okay. So that kosher salt is restaurant style kosher salt. It's only 25% of the salinity of Morton's iodized salt. Oh, no kidding. So when you're watching a Food Network show and yeah. they grab a pinch of salt and they go like that and you're like, whoa, it's not gonna be too salty because they're using that salt which gets absorbed into the food super easy. Got it, okay. All right, so now. There goes the onions. On with our onions. Yes. All right. Okay. We're gonna get this, and you know what? For this uh, this this sandwich, Mark, while you're building it, you got your cheese on there. Go ahead and kind of talk us through it. I am gonna point out, I have one of our directors here outside with us today. His name's Justin. Justin, I'm gonna invite you back here. I want him to dive into this because I think he deserves this. All right, He's now we're just on here for the show. You can do this in your oven, but okay. we don't have one out here, so I'm just gonna heat the cheese up over the onions a little bit with or you can the get torch a mini blow torch exactly and look incredibly cool at the barbecue that you invite all your family and friends over to and someone asked me the other day why do you cook with a torch and the answer was cuz i have one yes <laughs> i know <laughs> why like, not <laughs> exactly why wouldn't you all right so now okay we're going to go okay here okay stack that meat on there looking good justin are you excited Okay, he's incredibly <laughs> excited to dive in. All right. Okay, and you fold the meat here to fit beautifully. Well, you it fits, but it also meat. gives you that visual cue on the outside that we cooked it perfectly. Because uh, yes, again, remember, people people eat with their eyes, right? Have you guys seen that pink? Oh my gosh, and it's go. juicy, and the, it's just, oh my lord, this looks amazing. I mean, we have it. We might as well stack it on there, right? Y yes, please do. I don't think Justin's going to complain. And um, some microgreens, what do you got here really quick in the These bowl? are broccoli microgreens. Okay. And and uh, we love these because okay. they're mild. Um, they add a little bit of freshness, but okay. they also are really healthy. So now we can tell everybody we had a steak Justin, salad. we're adding health to it for you. So a steak salad on a sandwich here. All right, and then we got now some- Now for the sauce. Horsey, yes, love it. I mean, you can't really do too much yes. of that. Yes, all right. And Mark, I'm gonna ask you to take a bite with Justin and save me some, please, for after the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one problem with this sandwich, Justin. There's no. There's no sharing. There's no princess bites. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is uh, grab okay. it and do Justin, it. Justin, get in here, grab that sandwich. Both Look of you, make there. sure you check out Mark Anderson, the Grill Dads, the Food Network. They have an incredible cookbook that you also are going to want to pick up. Oh man, I hope this inspires you. Mark, thank you so much for helping us break in. Yes, thanks for having me. At the K2B Courtyard. Everyone, item today will be right back. Is that good? How is